been commenced and an investigation centre has been established at the uh, offices of the Brisbane City CIB. At this stage we're at uh, very early in our investigations and uh, police are appealing to members of the public for, who was in the area between the hours of 3.30am uh, and 4.30am uh, to come forward and provide us as much detail and uh, if no matter what the uh, scant detail of the um, information is, uh, we'd really appreciate them to contact us. And can you tell us about her injuries? I can't go into that detail at this stage. She was found on the staircase? She was found adjacent to the staircase in Wickham Park. Have you identified the victim? No, we haven't. We're at very early stages of the investigation at the moment. How old would she be? I, I couldn't give you that detail at, at this st stage of the investigation. We saw police talking to some people in the park earlier. Were, were there witnesses? Uh, we were canvassing all persons who were present at the time uh, to determine whether they were witnesses or not. Do you have any suspects? Not at this stage. Was there any CCTV that's captured anything? Uh, very early stages of the investigation still. How was the discovery made? A, uh, a bystander, basically, uh, walking through the park, alerted police to the presence of the deceased. Do you know if she'd been out on the town drinking? Could not tell you at this point in time. Do you know where she came from? Did she come from this side of the street or did she no come from up the street? Stage. Did she, was any clothing missing? No. Was any clothing torn or anything like that? Couldn't give you that information at this stage. Is there any blood or anything found on the stairway? I couldn't give you that information at this stage as well. There's a bicycle over there. Does that have anything to do with the investigation? Not as far as I know. The police believe she was sexually assaulted. No idea. Can you tell us about the police presence here today? We saw some searching was going on earlier. Was that for a murder weapon? The uh, the activity that was going on in the scene would uh, occur at any uh, any crime scene, uh, so it wasn't specific to uh, to this crime scene as far as searching for weapons or anything like that. It's uh, just activity that goes on at any crime scene when we're uh, conducting our investigations. Is it's this quite difficult when it's in the middle of the CBD like this. We've seen lots of people trying to get past. And... Well, we've established crime scene cordons. Um, we're obviously keeping uh, those cordons uh, around the scene and people will be excluded from those uh, cordons while the crime scene's in activation. Would you say this is um, particularly disturbing because of the location in the middle of the city here? I couldn't give you any comment in relation to that at the moment. Is it fair to say, though, that this area is quite well known for certain people congregating and drinking alcohol? Um, couldn't give you any comment about that at the moment. Does it appear that an object's been used to... Again, I can't comment on that. Um, we don't know the age of the woman, but is she an elderly woman? Is she a young woman? I couldn't give you any detail on that at the moment, sorry. Is there anything else you can say? No, not at this stage. Was, was the woman homeless or did she live here? Or... Couldn't give you any detail on that either. When do you suspect that there will be more details? Well, as the investigation progresses, uh, things will either happen relatively quickly, so we may be able to give you some more information later on this afternoon, but at this period of time, we don't have any identification. We're very early on in our uh, crime scene exam examinations. How concerning is it when a woman's body is found in the middle of the Brisbane CBD? Uh, obviously very concerning. Um, it's concerning to us that we, uh, we're establishing this investigation. Uh, however, um, we'll uh, wait till the uh, investigation progresses before we make any further uh, comment in relation to that. Do you have a, a safety message for other people perhaps walking around the CBD at night? Everyone's uh, responsible for their own safety. Uh, if they feel that they're uh, in an uncomfortable uh, position, well then they uh, should uh, uh, establish their own routes of safety uh, and keep be, be aware for themselves. Would you, say, would you say that safety message uh, has been e elevated since last night's attack? Look, I can't give you any specific details. Um, at this point in time, we're very early in the throes of the investigation. Whether it was a, uh, a specific case that just related to the person involved, we don't know that at this particular point in time. Can you give uh, just a brief description of what the, the woman, you know, is she of uh, no, hair, colour, no, Caucasian or anything like that? No, no. All right. Can I get your name again? And yeah, Tom Armit, A-R-M-I-T-T, -T, uh, Detective Acting Inspector. Thank you. Thank you.